What is going on, everyone? Good morning, and welcome to our stream of the Monster Hunter event that uh, Capcom's going to be holding. I'm joined, of course, by our resident Monster Hunter master, Brandon. How's it going, man? I am tired. And? <laughs> I am tired, but otherwise good. Nice, 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 nice. So, uh, yeah, it, for, for those of us on the West Coast, it's 7 a.m. Uh, for hopefully most of you, it's a little later than that. Um, we got about 15 minutes until the show starts, so I'm going to go ahead and turn the stream down, or at least Capcom's stream down. And uh, Brandon, I want to get your take, man. What are you hoping to see t this morning? Um, well, before my specific hopes, uh, I guess I'll just say what I expect to happen. Um, they're going to... <clears throat> they're basically going to go over the the end of the game as it is right now before the inevitable paid dlc expansion so uh the game currently does not end like there is an end boss but it ends on a cliffhanger so there's another fight that we're going to get in this dlc update that will uh end the story currently Nice. Yeah, I've I've played a little bit of Rise, and I, I have liked what I played so far. Uh, our, our supporter and uh, probably our, our most prolific patron, Straight Lace, booked me to play Monster Hunter with him. So I, I just got into it just uh, a few days ago. But uh, yeah, I'm, I'm excited to see where the game goes from here. I actually really enjoyed playing it. Uh, I got into using dual blades where I had picked the the long sword for myself, and uh, okay. yeah, I like dual blades a lot more, <laughs> like, <laughs> like infinitely more. They should really they should really recommend that for noobs like me. But uh, see, dual blades are actually not among my recommended classes for beginners. But if it's something that you're uh, if it's something that you're enjoying and you're getting good with, then hell yeah, dude, keep doing it. Nice. Yeah, I really liked it because uh, Demon Mode made... It, it, for me, it's a, it hits the right balance of speed and damage. Like, I really enjoy being able to zip in and out of combat. And, uh, yeah. you know, it, it kind of fits more with what I feel like somebody who fights monsters should be able to move like. <laughs> yeah, I, I get that. Um, that said, like, Rise has upped the movement options just for all classes so much because oh, yeah? of the wire bug. Um, nice. Yeah. I was learning a bit more about how to use the wire bug too. But uh, I think uh, the biggest thing that new players should probably learn is that uh, about the wire fall. So like yes. when you get hit and knocked away you can recover mid-air before you hit the ground using a wire fall. Um, yeah. I learned I learned that the hard way. <laughs> <laughs> with with the prompt on screen just being like, "Yo, wirefall now." <laughs> you get hit yeah. so many times, they they almost literally beat you over the head with it. It's good that they do because they don't really do that with most of the game mechanics. Uh, yeah, Monster Hunter's notorious for like not telling you anything. <laughs> um, so like I don't even know how much you know about like. Uh, just like the core mechanics and some of the stats and stuff like that because the game really does not explain any of it no uh i didn't learn a ton about that straight lace and i were focused on on getting me up to speed with just the most basic gameplay stuff like where to go what to do um and we played through uh we played through the first uh four quests i had to take to level up uh, to get to monster i'm i'm now a rank two monster hunter so well, you know welcome to hr2 yeah exactly so now i'm now i'm uh clearly part of the end game club you know just <laughs> just need to fight a, a thing dragon for, for what it's worth uh monster hunter rise and at least in comparison to some of the older games is relatively short uh so with a little bit of time it wouldn't take you all too long to get to the current end game. Nice. I I'm, I may need to put that time in. I I assume I assume that there's going to be some kind of update shadow drop. 
Uh, yeah, they're they're gonna go over the update and then it's gonna come out tonight. I am a hundred percent certain that's what's happening. <laughs> nice. They'll say so. it comes out tomorrow, but it's actually tomorrow for Japan. And it'll come out at like uh, six p.m. your time. Oh God. Um, well, I, I look forward to hearing what you have to say about that. Once every few years. I, I guess I should also mention that we're probably going to see more about Monster Hunter Stories 2. Um, oh, absolutely. I mean, we're on like the third trailer they've played for Monster Hunter Stories 2 in the lead up to the show, so it'd be kind of weird if they didn't. The I think the last time they went over battle mechanics a little bit, um, they touched on co-op, so I wonder if they're going to talk a little bit more about that. Um, you meet Anna, a they might also girl, announce a demo. I wouldn't be surprised if they announced a demo. Oh, hey, Hyrulean1000 with a 10 euro donation. Can never watch TNT live to Super Chat because of time zones, so here's something small. Good luck tomorrow with Sonic State of Play and Dragon Quest streams. I knew I was missing one of them, Brandon. Uh, yeah, tomorrow's going to be ridiculous. Today's going to be a little ridiculous because we have TNT during which I will be in a bathtub. And then we we have uh we we have um a stream after that. Isn't that Dragon Quest? That is Dragon Quest. I'm sorry. So Dragon Quest is tonight at 8:30 p.m. Pacific, I believe. Uh but yeah, it's going to be ridiculous. Um we we are we are streaming uh Sonic tomorrow, yes. So don't worry if it's a major stream, we'll be here reacting to it throughout all of what I'm dubbing E3 season. So yeah, it kicked off already. Yeah, some somehow people were just like, "Screw it, E3's taking too long. We're doing our we're doing our own thing." I guess uh, everybody's subscribed to the Jeff Grubb model of at home E3 game mess. <laughs> I love Jeff Grubb's Twitter account. <laughs> um, so. Monster Hunter has also not detailed anything past the 3.0 update, which is what they're talking about today. Uh, for Monster Hunter World, we would typically see a roadmap of two to three updates ahead at any given time. Mm. Uh, that tells me, and I hope I'm wrong, that this is the last update until the paid expansion, which for all we know could be a year away. Oh boy. Yeah, that would not be cool. That said, uh, with Monster Hunter World, whenever they did an update, they'd drop, like, one monster. With the first update in Monster Hunter Rise, they dropped, like, five monsters. Uh, so they're they're definitely going a little nice. faster than they did the first time. One, one thing I have to say is that I do like the... Uh... I, I do like the uh, pre-order or Amiibo, or if you have Monster Hunter Rise, I like the fact that you can get a Monster Hunter Rise outfit in Stories 2, because I hate the default outfit they've shown in the trailer so far. <laughs> I was like, yes, please. Uh, and and so far, real quick, uh, for someone someone in the chat mentioned that, oh, CY Lop, I love the original GVG crew, but it's a shame to me how uninterested they seem to be in Monster Hunter Rise. To each their own, just a bummer to me. I'm one of the originals, and I actually am, am quite interested. Am I good at it? Absolutely not. But I do actually uh, find Monster Hunter Rise to be pretty intriguing. Uh, I, I can't speak for Ash and Derek. They don't have the game. They haven't tried it yet. Uh, but me personally, I've been trying to get into it. It's just a matter of having the time. Uh, but what, from what uh, I have played, I've really enjoyed. Yeah, yeah. I'm like right there. I'm, I'm getting close, baby. I just need to actually play the game some more. Uh, I watched Arlo's review of Monster Hunter Rise yesterday because he uploaded it. Um, and it's just 30 minutes of him gushing about how he <laughs> he's finally into Monster Hunter. Um, nice. And that he had always been like adjacently interested, but this was the one that finally got him into it. Yeah, uh, I... I feel like I'm kind of in the same boat. Like, I've always been on the periphery of the Monster Hunter fandom, like, trying to find my way in. And I feel like Rise is the is the right title for that. Um, yeah. You know, I own a, a shitload of Monster Hunter games. <laughs> uh, I think it started when I bought... Um, I bought Monster Hunter 3G, and I know a lot of people give me crap for that, but I it really was 3G because I bought a Japanese Black Wii to get it. Uh which oh, came you, with okay <laughs> yeah i i imported monster hunter 3g <laughs> and i was that? 
Uh, it, well, it was it was the first time you could get a black Wii, and I was like, ooh, oh. black Wii, and it comes with this game that looks pretty good. And so I have like the Monster Hunter 3G Japanese uh, Wii Pro controller that's like an odd navy blue color, and then I have the black Wii that came with that, and I played Monster Hunter there for the first time. I ended up buying a blue PSP that also came with a Monster Hunter game. Again, I bought those for the consoles and not for the games, but I own those games, <laughs> and I played those games because of it. Um, oh, I also and, love the Monster Hunter Tri commercials, Black Ninja. We need to watch a few of those tonight. Nice. Those those will definitely make their way into the post show. So for those of you asking, yes, TNT is going on tonight. It's going to be the weirdest, wildest episode of TNT ever. So I recommend you tune in. I I said some dumb shit on the last episode, and now I will be streaming from a bathtub. So I got a, an incredibly odd message from Steve asking if I could help with TNT tonight because he was going to be in a bathtub, <laughs> and I missed the show. So I was like. A little thrown off. <laughs> yeah, so so for those of you wondering, the story goes that we were on the topic of Twitch and, and you know, less broadly, the topic of hot tub streamers. And uh, Ash made, you know, Ash was like, "It's a, is it a coincidence that you're streaming to f exactly 420 people right now? And so I joked, I was like, somebody slam in a $69 donation and I will stream from a, from a tub. And uh, yeah, someone did that like immediately. I, I didn't expect anyone to, but it took all of four seconds for someone to do it. You so, uh, you really need to, <laughs> to be I, careful. I really saying. need to stop doubting the internet. <laughs> <laughs> when... Oh, hey, we have someone speaking Japanese in the chat. Good evening. Konbamwa. Is it really? Oh, it is. Yeah. Yeah, it's about that yep. time over in Japan. If someone is actually watching us from Japan, well, hello. I appreciate you. Yeah, two people actually donated $69, which was, again, above and beyond. Some in Straight Lace also donated $50 for me to buy snacks. <laughs> so I will I will be watch on your, vacation mode in TNT watch, tonight. Watch your TL says, Dragon Quest technically starts at noon Japan time. That'll be Japan only and covered Japan only products. Global stuff is half an hour after that start. Ah, well, we will be covering, covering Dragon Quest, and I know that there's a simulcast. We'll probably find a way to work both in i i have to look at the schedule for that uh but c stay tuned to our social media we'll we'll be putting something out on twitter with like a calendar of our upcoming reaction streams just because there's going to be a lot of them <laughs> <laughs> we need and, the, and and with e3 coming whatever that means this year we'll we'll have yeah, a lot more to react to out. yeah it, it is kind of scary how close e3 is and how little we know <laughs> mm -hmm. i can't believe i have to split my time between monster hunter and dragon quest in one day well i mean first world problems my friend <laughs> <laughs> how dare you stream so many good game announcements within 24 hours how could you uh michael and is andre or andres and Endress, I, I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, yeah, there's been rumors that Zelda stuff will come into Monster Hunter Rise for the 35th anniversary. I hope that's true. That's interesting. I haven't heard that. There was crossover content for Zelda in Monster Hunter 4 Ultimates, uh, and I believe Monster Hunter G's, or not G, Monster Hunter Generations as well. Yeah. Uh, and there was Zelda crossover content in the original stories where you could get Link's outfit and Epona as a playable monster. <laughs> Oh, damn. Yeah. Um, Pcore TV, I am all set for tonight. Fortunately, this camera that you're looking into has a ridiculously good zoom lens. So it will not be in the same room that I'm in. It'll be it'll be far enough away, a safe distance away. All right, but it'll be the down. weirdest stream I've ever done in my life. All right, here we go. We're going to open with a trailer. Okay. God, this song gets me hype every time I hear it. <laughs> hmm. Are we starting on Stories 2 then? I wouldn't be surprised. I think they did last time as well. 
Hi everyone, I'm new. Hello, Sushimoto. I love you. <laughs> Brendan's just a little bit of a fan. No big deal. Teeny bit. God, July 9th, yeah. that's so close. Which is I know. Available. Two months from launch, actually. Exactly. Since Rise came out. We're very excited to reveal the latest info on Monster Hunter Stories 2 Wings of Ruin. But first, check out the new trailer. There have been so many trailers for this game already. I know, right? What, what's left to show? <laughs> <clears throat> they just know this game looks really good. They're like, screw it, put together another trailer. See, I dislike that outfit so much. <laughs> what part of it? It feels very Nino Kuni ish. I don't know. Oh, I get. Yeah, I, I can see that. Also, it's just a lot of exposed skin for an outfit for fighting monsters in. <laughs> oh, well. You ain't seen nothing yet, then. <laughs> oh, no, no. I need to expose my belly button. It throws the monsters off. Are you out of your mind? You care more for one Rathalos than for the world it might destroy? No. Voice acting is surprisingly good. Yeah. Steer it towards chaos. Choose violence. <laughs> is it... Is that a, a mechanic? Oh, she's... Okay. She was in the first game. Oh, was she? I think we'd, yeah, I don't think we'd seen her yet. The, the cast that carry over from the first game have grown up. Oh... Man, could you imagine him showing up at a Pokemon gym with Rathalos? Just saying. I'd probably just cry. <laughs> Be I'm like, you win! Hand. It's fine! <laughs> please go! Don't kill my Pikachu, please! <laughs> God, the, the animations also are just really stellar. Yeah, it really is. I'm... I feel like I'm watching an anime. <laughs> They did a really great job with the cell shading on this. It looks, honestly, good enough to be on a much more powerful console. Yeah. Uh, it's releasing on PC on the same day. Yes. Oh, look at this guy. You know him, Nabiru? Oh, excuse me, it's early. I was wondering if we're seeing if we're seeing PC footage or if this is Switch footage. You see, the in the previous stream, um, they showed gameplay, and the button prompts were switch prompts. Oh. And it still looked, like, super crisp, so... I think it just as looks that good. Trailer, Man, that's ridiculous. Rage Rays. These Rage Raid monsters are appearing all around the world. Rage Rays. <laughs> Rage Ray! Ray. The monster virus. We've been down this road. <laughs> Where will it all lead? Strange things are happening, and the strength of your bond with Ratha will be put to the test. Your Rathalos in the previous game was also named Ratha. We saw them in the previous installment, but they have grown up a lot since then. Is the main character from one going to show up at the top of Mount Silver and we battle him at the end of the game? We'd now like to touch on a couple of game features. First, we'll talk about obtaining monster eggs and then about transferring powers and skills between monsties using the right of... Monsties? They're monsties because it's a portmanteau between monsters and besties. Oh. I know, I hate it too. <laughs> Whoever localizes these games is like, I imagine it's just a dad sitting in a Barca lounger. <laughs> just like, this is your monster and it's a friend. What is he? He's like, it's a monsty, son. Okay, so this is exactly the same as the first game. These dens will kind of randomly spawn in the overworld. Uh, and like that, golden ones are rare and you're likely to get a rare egg. 
Nice. So Navi Ru will tell you if the egg smells. He'll tell you how heavy it is uh, to kind of give you an idea of what the monster might be. Oh, it's a Legombi. I killed one of those. <laughs> oh, I bet you did. That's a yeah. That's one of the early monsters. Um, so this system allows you to fuse monsters to kind of transfer their skills. They have like this little uh, skill tree in that bottom right corner there. Uh, so if the slot, uh, if the skill you want is in the upper left slot of one monster, it'll transfer to that same slot on the monster uh -huh. that you give it to. So that kind of allows you to customize your monster. They should totally let you fuse monsters to make atrocities. Just, uh, I want a, I want a winged Legombi that has that, uh, but instead of its head, it has that, uh, oh god, that really unsettling monster's face. The one with no eyes and like a Orochimaru neck. Yeah. <laughs> I fought one of those too. Shit was disgusting. Did you love Kazu's theme song? You mean the the absence thereof? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> They're like, let's make this absolutely unsettling. Japan loves Kazu, and I mean loves Kazu. That's I don't really. Know why. It's really weird. <laughs> like you could put Kazu in Resident Evil, and nobody would blink. They'd be like, "Yep, that's horrifying. It fits." Oh, I guess I should mention this. Uh, you can give monsters elements they don't naturally have. Which is kind of neat. So they showed Legombi shooting a fireball, which it definitely cannot do. Yes. That's really cool. Yeah, they really let you just kind of do whatever you want with your monsters. Wow. Like, they show all these different elemental attacks, and the last one is just a Kamehameha. <laughs> like, watch your, watch your monster Goku everything. The uh, UI and the HUD in this game are so much nicer than the first one. Guess who has a very popular album, says Kojoho. <laughs> Thank you for re-re-announcing the release date. Every single time. Antonio Ben says, Kazu not having music is a fun detail. Fight music kicks in when a monster sees you, but Kazu is blind, so there's no music. Yep. I had, I, thought of it that way. That is one of the lessons I received during my Monster Hunter play session as well. Don't throw a flash bomb at Kazu. It's not going to work. <laughs> They're really, like, drip-feeding the features for this game. Oh, here we go. Rise. Alrighty. Gimme trailer. Let's have a look at the next title up for Monster Hunter Rise. Have a look at this new trailer. Alright, here we go. We're probably gonna get a look at the new end boss. Free title update. Ooh. Crimson. Oh, hell yes. I'm glad you Falstrax. know what this is. I'm looking at him, I'm like, he he looks like he'll kill me. Falstrax is the flagship monster of Generations Ultimate. Ah. Uh. And this is a, uh, a variant of that. Apex Xenogre. Okay, we knew about that. I like how whenever they showcase a monster, they're like, watch this player get the snot beat out of him by this monster. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> they gotta I feel, make him look strong. I feel very uh, at home when I see this. Oh, here's the end boss. My queen. Oh, that was My creepy. Divine pieces with grace replete. Finally the twain shall meet. <laughs> oh, you you called it. Like. Available tomorrow, but actually tonight. Yep. Oh wow, they only showed two new monsters. Okay. 
As you can see, the new free title update, Monster Hunter Rise version 3.0, will be releasing on May 27th. Well, three if you count the end boss, I guess. Yeah. We'll be showing you some of the content of this new update, so we hope you enjoy the show. What's with this weird side now, angle view of his face? That is weird. Who are you talking to? <laughs> I feel like they don't need to reintroduce the update. The director on Monster Hunter Rise. No, I mean typically they'll like dive into the feature set. Um, Thank you. To make sure that said, this is significantly do, less content than I was anticipating. Aww. <laughs> For me, I'm like new, new things, neat. <laughs> Ben's. Ben is right. In 2.0, they hit a monster in there that they didn't. They didn't reveal. First up is a new variant of Valstrax, the flagship monster from Monster Hunter Generations. Valstrax Ultimate. is just a jet engine. <laughs> in case nice. you were curious. It is known as Crimson Glow Valstrax, a mysterious elder. This is technically a brand new monster since it's a variant like that we haven't seen before. Allowing it to survive at on this shit looks terrifying. Altitudes. Oh, yeah, I see the jet engine thing you're talking about. Oh! <laughs> we made sure yeah, he a fast a boy. Form with new attacks, so we hope you look forward to it. Uh, Soulcaster, those two monsters that you saw were... are already in Rise. The end boss is going to be their spawn, I'm fairly certain. Apex Sinogre. Oh, he's Super Saiyan now. Apex monster. <laughs> well, that's what Apex means in the world of Monster Hunter Rise. Basically. Oh, nice. Typically, when or in the last update, the two new apexes they introduced were exclusive to ramp pages. So it's nice to get this as just its own quest. Oh, excuse me, man. I need coffee. But this is, uh, I'm looking at this and I'm like, man, this is uh, just a little bit more challenging than the Lagombi I hunted last week. <laughs> just Only just a little. This is a teeny bit. <laughs> Pretty sure I'll be fine. So my question is, do you fight Ibushi and Narwa at the same time, or do they have a baby? Because I expected the latter. Okay. Yeah, that adds up. <laughs> Maybe we'll do both then. Man, that would be messed up. Like, take them out, then kill their kid. I mean, <laughs> it seems a little rude. I mean, they're just over here trying to destroy your house. New monsters and hub. New monsters and rampage. New awards. Oh, yeah, some bugs have been fixed. Day. Oh, thank <sighs> God. Oh, here comes DLC info though. This is like cosmetic stuff, probably. I feel like I feel like you've called this show beat for beat so far, Brandon. <laughs> yep, I knew exactly what we were gonna get today. <laughs> I was surprised by the amount of cosmetic DLC that exists for this game. You should see the amount of cosmetic DLC for World. Oh, that's super funny. I nice. want the dog head helmet. In World, I like the they stickers. added a, uh, a Hadouken emote. And nice. I actually fired one that did damage. Oh, wow. Oh, I want that. We've got lots of colorful new content. To Stop tempting me to spend more money on this so game, damn it. <laughs> Change appearance of Rampage weapons was part of the update. Yeah, I I hope that goes beyond color. That's all about free title update version 3.0. Is there more after 3.0? Now let's have a look at Oh, here we oh, go. Thank God. <laughs> I was worried. <clears throat> what do we got? Roadmap. 
We plan to offer regular updates with new event quests and Oh, a collab coming in June. That's soon. Okay. June will That's probably <laughs> that is almost guaranteed to be some Mega Man thing or Devil May Cry. Kicking off with layered armor to turn your Palico into Tsukino, the mysterious feline from Monster Hunter Stories 2. That's cool. The corresponding nice. event quest available from mid June will be able to get this armor, so don't miss out. There will be more collab layered armor of Capcom characters. Oh, wow! Future, oh, so keep your eyes okay. peeled for more information. Just give me Ryu. Like, I missed it in Monster Hunter World. I want it here. I want to be able to shore you can and hot oak in my enemies. <laughs> That said, I'm a little surprised that they're all Capcom collabs. Usually they like do anime collabs and stuff too. I would have loved it if August was a No More Heroes collab. Give me Travis Touchdown and Monster Hunter. <laughs> it could still happen. Yeah, see, that looks dope in the Monster Hunter Stories style. I want that. Yeah. I think we're getting the reverse and rise as well. I don't want that. <laughs> so, so you can get the ugly armor and rise. It yeah, looks see? Rise. Look at him. He's like, look at my tummy. <laughs> look I just, at my tummy. I, I greatly dislike how that looks in a realistic art style. God, it is it is infinitely worse in Rise yeah, than it, it really is in is Stories. <laughs> Monster Hunter Stories 2 Wings of Ruin will release on July 9th. And Monster Hunter Rise, which is already available, will be getting the free update version 3.0 on May 27th. Today. <laughs> yeah. Right now. Is that the end? I feel, I feel like that was the wrap up before they close this out. Yeah, they usually run like oh, 15 no. minutes. Well, that was surprisingly short. Uh, being as I'm not typically watching these. But, uh, Brandon, what what are your overall thoughts on the, uh, the event in general? Uh, stories 2, I'm excited. I'm always excited for Stories 2. Uh, that said, they, they keep drip feeding that game. Like, we always get a ton of story in the trailers and then not enough gameplay stuff. I really hope that changes soon. Um, and then for Rise, uh, I expected a little bit more on this in this specific update. Uh, that said, I'm always excited to play more Monster Hunter. And, you know, they showed the road a significant amount of the roadmap for the next few months, which I'm thankful for because up until today, we only had the roadmap up until today, and I was worried that this was going to be the end of updates until the G expansion. Um, yeah. Thankfully, that seems to not be the case. Um, but who knows? They might have stuffed more monsters in the update that they didn't talk about. They did that last time. Uh, Valstrax is big. He's only been in Generations Ultimate, and it's a brand new variant, so that's pretty sick. Um... Yeah, so I'm excited. I wish there was more, but I'm still excited. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you know, as somebody who's just starting to get into Rise, um, I don't have a lot to say on the updates for that game, just because I'm I'm still <laughs> I'm still hunting bottom feeder monsters. Uh, but I am excited, and I do like the idea. Um, you know, Stories Two continues to look great. I am really, really excited for Stories Two. Um, that, that for me will probably, if I can find the time to play it, will probably be, um, you know, one of the ones that I, that I have a very difficult time putting down. So I'm, I'm really excited to check yeah. that out. I think that Monster Hunter Rise, I, I want to get to the end game content, so I'll probably have you pull me through at some point. Uh, cause I think I'm right waiting. now I've, I've hit a spot where I just have difficulty crafting stuff. Like I have... I I have like I feel like I have everything but one piece for almost every armor and weapon I have available to craft. And I'm like, God damn it. <laughs> Just Yep, that'll happen. It, 
yeah, I'm I'm stuck. So I'm still wearing mostly starter gear, which is unfortunate. But yeah, I would say overall, I would. This was a pretty solid presentation. I enjoyed it. I think that they got the info out quickly. I wish, uh, I wish more presentations were paced this way. Like, here's what you want. We here's the information. Now we're getting out of your hair. Bye. And I kind of I kind of respect that. The Monster Hunter team knows how to get out their info and. I've always enjoyed that. Uh, World's presentations were like <clears throat> 20 to 30 minutes, I think. Uh, but they also just had a lot more to say in those, usually. So there was just still, you know, a ton of stuff coming out. So it's nice. Yeah. They do a good job. So, so Brandon, I know that you're going to hop into the end game stuff as soon as this update drops in 11 hours. <laughs> so... Uh, are What's your prediction for how that boss turns out? Because I'm going to hold you to it, man. I think you're going to have a quest where you fight Ibushi and Narwa at the same time, like they showed. And then you're going to witness the birth of their baby, and then you're going to have another quest where you fight the baby. That's how I see this going. Wow. Could you could you imagine, like, being born, and then there's just a dude there waiting to kill you, like, immediately? He's like, it just killed your parents. Welcome to the world. <laughs> Uh, people who've played Monster Hunter World might know a little bit about that. Actually. Oh, boy. <laughs> that is that is brutal, but funny. Yeah. Um, all right. Well, I think that wraps it up for, for our uh, Monster Hunter stream. We have we have a lot to get to this week, today specifically, and tomorrow. Um, Big day. Yeah. So we will be rejoining y'all tonight for today's news tonight at 4 p.m. Pacific, 7 p.m. Eastern. Don't miss it. I will be streaming from a goddamned bathtub because <laughs> I'm an idiot. Uh, but beyond that, uh, we will see you guys. Uh, yeah. Later tonight. Have a great day, everyone. I will we'll get a schedule out on Twitter about what's what's coming up next. But uh, that's it for us for now. Bye, everyone. Yeah. See ya.